Hello everyone, welcome back to Raise Aerospace and X4 Foundations. We are continuing with the Terran missions in the hopes of getting better Terran reputation and thereby getting better trade prices and also hopefully more uh, missions from the stations. The stations all offer particular missions that we can use to make some extra money and then we can set up our uh, factories or whatever else we want to set up to create our grand empire. However, I am aware that the Terrans aren't exactly the best people Entering to do this with. Uh, they tend not to have many trade opportunities or missions or really many bad guys in their area. Unless those are spawned by some mission. Whoa, whatever happened there, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's a uh, pretty secluded soul system. And Soul System is basically it. I'm thinking of the old games though, so I'm, I'm not sure whether they've expanded to other areas that might put them in closer contact with other people. But generally, uh, if I recall, there's the Terran areas and then Argon, and they're not really in contact with other people very directly. So that's a bit of a problem. It's a hard start in that respect. Because we'll start off with good reputation with the Terrans, but there's, that's really not worth, oh, let's use the travel mode, uh, not really worth much. It's worth much more to be in good with like the Argon or the Paranid, um, who are in the thick of things. The Boron are sort of secluded anyway. Saladi is sort of in the middle. I mean, I'm thinking of the old map and how things are, and I'm assuming it's not changed too much, but that's... a uh, tough thing to assume. P doesn't bring up my pilot information, which is a little bit annoying. I'll have to check what uh, key would do that. It doesn't show my reputation with various factions here. Oh, here is factions. Well, Antigone Republic doesn't like me, the Cock don't like me, Xenon, Yaki don't like me. Um, Taladi is not too bad, but we haven't met the Argon or... I don't know what the Cigarist Pioneers are. Okay, uh, we better come out of that. Okay, uh, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to be with the Paranid or the Argon, but we'll see. You are near a wharf. Wharfs require a constant supply of resources to support the production of S and M sized ships. Consider deploying a satellite here to receive real-time updates on the station's trade offers. Okay. Uh, deploy civilian. Oh, okay. Oop. Deploy civilian satellite. I mean, I don't mind if I do. So, we have a shipyard. Well, a wharf. Uh, the shipyard probably has uh, builds stations. The wharf probably builds ships. So, yeah, and S and M sized ships, I guess. I don't know if I need to name the satellite or anything. So, last time I didn't really have to contact it in order to dock. And pressing C doesn't seem to do anything right now either. So, do I just waltz in? Please halt. Oh. We will be scanning your cargo. Okay, well, first, I am halted. All clear. You can be on your way. Well, let's see what happens. Docking granted. So I've got a docking computer now. Docking aborted. No. Docking granted. Okay. Uh, Shift D seems to grant the uh, docking. Maybe now that I'm like this, Shift D will. Docking work? aborted. No. Docking granted. No, that just seems to. Shift D just seems to get me permission. Well, this is not the docking computer I wanted. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I, I, I've not got it fitted. I thought I had it fitted. Oh, I think it's automated now. Okay, it automated that part. We're here. Uh, we were told to go here by something. Well, by ships. Let me see. Size S. Well, hmm. There's inconvenient. I like to see a full list, actually. A scout would be nice for exploring. Container storage, 440 meters cubed. Kukri only has 140. So the scouts, I would expect the scouts to have less storage and more speed to scout, but 
clearly that instinct was not right. Courier has lots of container storage. Well, I guess cur by courier it means special transport. I like the courier. Um, transporter, Baldrick. That's 10,000 for the container storage. That's our trader option. Not too sure I approve of the wingage because, you know, that's unnecessary. It should be looking totally utilitarian, but alright. Um, how much would that cost? 649,000 just for the chassis, and then we have to add more things to it in order to make it actually work because it doesn't have any speed. The courier, which has decent storage actually, is within our current budget. So that's a thought. It also looks pretty good. I'm gonna reduce some of the sounds. Okay, so what happened to our mission? I guess we have to get out, maybe. So, alright, maybe I have to get up. Okay. Let's see. Travel to the cockpit. Well, I, that doesn't seem to let me... Oh, I've got... I can get out here. Okay. Now. Oh, okay. Alright. It's got... It's given me a yellow line. Okie dokie. Transporter room. Secret Service Bureau. I didn't realize I was part of the Secret Service. It's not that secret. Anyway. Well, I, I guess I have to go around here. Sheesh. Don't. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. Recruit. It's good to see you're still in one piece. Apologies for the harsh welcome earlier. Communications cut off as soon as you engage those Xenon infrastructure units. And I'm not gonna comment on the looks. Stand having no <laughs> Let's just on pass on that. Okay, I'm ready to make my report. There's no need for a detailed report, recruit. My staff have already extracted your ship logs the moment you arrived. Extracted. It is beyond. We've already scanned your entire what mind. What you have witnessed is of the utmost concern to the Protectorate. But that is only half of the reason why I called you here personally. You have displayed unquestionable obedience. And unquestionable obedience. Oh gosh, that makes it sound so horrible. And distinguished I didn't mean to do that. Of Saul, in even the darkest hours of our operation, I hereby raise you to the rank of special operative. And no... Refusal is I get the feeling that very little is but an I option with these people. To answer some of your questions, if you have any. Do I get a no cool outfit and so. sword or something? What happened to my wingmate? My That's a good one. My are not entirely sure about the exact order of events. For that, we would have to interrogate Shinnaman himself, and he remains MIA. Oh, Judging that person had icons report, in her hair. It seems he may have been abducted. But I have a suspicion that there's more to it than that. I think he turned really into the bad guy. I really should have read the signs beforehand. After all, predicting the movements of ally and enemy alike is core to my job here. For some reason, Shinnamon must have tried desperately to make a name for himself. To be inquisitive and proactive in every situation. He what? also seems to have eerie intuition regarding the Xenon. What? I can only guess that something in his childhood... Surrounded by stories about the glorious Terran War against the machines. Wow, this is quite an extrapolation. Must have sparked his imagination. Try to understand that which cannot be understood might have been his downfall. Whatever. I, I didn't really care that much about him. It's fine. Uh, uh, what is Soulborn Militia really? I guess. A cutting edge operation to strongly pitch the idea. Can I skip this? I was most. Oh, I guess not. With creating a I must say that I am hesitant to send you away again so soon. No kidding. But since you're asking, there might indeed be something to help take your mind off these unfortunate events. Money? That is, if you think you're ready. Uh, yeah, I am ready. I see. No time to waste, right? Now, I would like to talk to you about this so-called Project Genesis. So-called? That's the code name of a top-secret operation that the Cigaris Pioneers are cooking up. Well, there's those Cigaris Pioneers. We more about it than they would like, but we remain in the dark when it comes to their ultimate goal. We do know that it involves a facility in their space with an unknown purpose. Fortunately for us, 
There seems to have been an incident, and the station was evacuated until repairs could be carried out. This is a short-lived opportunity to gather intel. As such, we've taken action to inject false security documents into a Pioneer database. Congratulations, Operative. You're now a qualified Pioneer Engineer First Class. Well, I like being an engineer. You're set to join one of their engineering teams to repair that facility. During the operation, gather whatever information you can, but use your discretion. Just follow along with their instructions and you'll be fine. The team is gathering in Neptune. Okay. Exclusive invitation. Oberth. Fly to Oberth. Okay, back to my ship. Say what you like, at least the elevators work around here. <laughs> hey! Da Vinci. Okay. Um, I guess we're going. Uh, music kicks in. I guess the wharf has a music dampening field in the cargo bay. So, seriously, what, what are the trade opportunities around here? Let's just take a look. 11 objects. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. Protein paste. Well, you know, protein paste, I just want to make a trade. And if something is buying it at 135 and selling, they're selling at 92, I want some of that. It's not going to be that lucrative. I've only got a cargo bay that can carry 140 units. It's empty, darn it, and that's not good. Okay. I need help docking with you. Maybe I should just follow the other ships. These are guys coming out of here, but this is very red. It seems like this isn't out. These guys, these guys are going in. Okay, this is in. Well, let's hope. No, it doesn't want me to go in. I mean, it's also all dark in there. So clearly this is not for me. That That's just for show, apparently. Well, maybe I should just do Shift D. That's probably the right idea. Docking granted. Okay. Okay, automated. Successfully docked. Okay, trade. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. I sure hope. All right, I want. I guess I can only carry thirty-five. Oh, okay, so they each take uh, four units of space. Waiting for trade to finish. Okay, fine. And then we need to go to the medical supply factory. Yeah, a little bit over a thousand credits, so not exactly something you want to spend time on. Signal leak, which could contain a hidden mission offer. Ship modes. Signal leak. I'll think about that later. Oh fudge. Ouch. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, it grabbed me docking automatically because I got so close, apparently. <laughs> nice to see bumping into the station, this doesn't kill me. Successfully docked. Okay, trade. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. Profits from sales, 1,645. Okay, not much, but you know, it's a start. Oh, I keep doing that. Waiting for trade to finish. Alright, we'll proceed with the mission. Okay, off we go. To the accelerator. Entering asteroid belt. And proceeding. Yeah, I, I want to know what would be the best ship for some good long-range exploration. I think the scouts, but, but that courier looked nice because it has trading capacity, but I'll have to check what kind of sized wares it can take. Entering Jupiter. Okay. 
Where is my guidance now? Find way to Saturn 1. <laughs> You're making it hard on me. I mean, the way to Saturn should be pretty obvious. Right? Find way to Saturn 1. Well, let's do the long range scan mode. Well, there's a pingy there, so all right, we'll go there. Guess that's how to do it. Lockbox. Not a lockbox. Surely you jest. This is a different kind of lockbox. This looks like a more dangerous lockbox. Are those all locks that I have to blow off? Now, this better have something to do with our mission. I mean, jeez. Okay, one pulse laser and one pulse laser only. <laughs> okay. All right, fine, be that way. Oops, missed that one. It changes its rotation based on me shooting it sometimes. Uh, but, but. Oh no! Ooh. No! Don't get hurt! Ah! Did I fail the mission? Well, I've flown around a bit and I don't see anything else on the map. There's a little uh, magnifying glass next to my ship that, and there's an upkeep mission that says acquire a captain, but that has nothing to do with anything. Uh, right now, as far as I can tell. Um, taking a look around, I haven't seen any transients. This is how we used to do things in the X Games. Try to find a little transient thing. Something that's moving against the background, and maybe that's a gate or something. Or follow ships. That's another thing to do. Those came from over there somehow. What is that? Resupply ship Honshu. Big ship. What exactly happens when I hit the border of the hex? I mean, it used to be that just meant that your likelihood of finding anything was low. But sometimes there'd be things like beyond the hex or beyond the technical borders of the system. Oh, it just uh, changes magnification when you do that. Yeah, look, it, it, it'll just keep on going forever, I guess. Okay, well, we don't want to do that. They didn't keep the supply ship shown here. Better squadron. No, that's the supply ship. So what we're pointing at right now is something else. Oh, now it's an accelerator. Okay, it's an accelerator somewhere. Is it an accelerator to Saturn 1? Maybe the lockbox didn't matter so much anyway. But maybe it did and it had like some secret stuff that we needed to pick up to help us out. And everybody's gonna shoot at me when I arrive in Saturn. I don't know. Terrans have nice looking ships, but for the utilitarian ships like construction vessels, I would like more scrappy looking things. Okay, to unknown sector. Guess we'll find out. Well, that looks like Saturn Entering to me. Saturn 1. And it is Saturn 1. Now we have to find our way to Uranus. Well, there's an accelerator right there, apparently. There's some over there, and then there's some somewhere over here, too. But one set is probably to Saturn 2, one would assume, and the other set to Uranus. Now there's a question mark accelerator, and then there's whatever this is. Super highway. Unknown Super highway. Sector. Unknown Baldrick. sector. Baldrick. Oh, Saturn's looking pretty good. Lots of really spread out stations around here in Saturn 1. 
We're doing the exploring part of the business here. It's automatically giving me a path to that accelerator, so I guess that's the one we actually want, not these. Got an exclamation mark there now. It really wants me to acquire a captain. Okay, Micro Lattice Factory was this one. Okay. No, oh, there's another one. I didn't even notice that station. See, if we don't ping the stations now, we might never figure they're there. Okay, Computronic Substrate Fab. And that makes Computronic Substrates. Okay, anyway, we'll go over to the gate that we're supposed to. Botware's Protein Pace, 125. Well, so they're four units apiece, so one of the big traders could carry 2,500 of them. And that means that they would make about 100,000 credits per trip, per trade with the protein paste if... Well, no, less than that. Maybe 75,000 credits per trip uh, if we buy them at about 90 and sell them at 120. Well, we don't get to use one of the super highways. It's just a lowly accelerator for us this time. Entering Uranus. Indeed. I don't really... It's just going to get me another lockbox or something, the long-range scan. I don't think it's getting me my mission target. Oh, that's an accelerator. That's what we want. Just flying through gates where you don't know where they lead to. Entering Neptune. Okay, so there's Neptune. There's Neptune in all of its blueness. Indeed. I guess that's a jump spark. I guess that's what that is. Okay, well, at least we have a definite location this time, so we don't have to figure that out. Lots of stations around Neptune. There's even a gate-like thing over there to the left, but probably defunct. You're late. Fortunately oop, 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 oop. for you, we're having technical difficulties. I looked over your file, and I must say it made for interesting reading. Know this, you will have to impress me personally if you want any chance of getting an assignment worthy of your apparent skill set. While we wait for departure, perhaps you can showcase your resourcefulness. I'm in need of an item not often found on oh, the general market. Oh, we're running fetch Should things. You, it, you will most certainly have piqued my interest. Or That's not an engineering details. job. Rick Feynman, though. Acquire AGI processor. That sounds dangerous. Um, uh, well. Just so you're not completely lost without my guidance, I've marked. <laughs> well, that's helpful. Why, why, why are you so impressive? Impressed by a person that just picks something up? Xenon, but it would not be very professional of me to encourage you to seek them out. Is looking to acquire AGI technology. Aha. Uh -huh. It seems we can add solicitation of illegal materials to his list of charges. Carry on. We can't afford to make him suspicious now. Well, things have gotten interesting, yes. He's trying to develop his own AI fleet. Uh oh, bad guys. Um, what kind of. Oh, Xenon N. Well, maybe we can get an AGI processor like that, but... Um... Let me save. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, so that's not such a good thing to do. Let me, uh... You can craft some items yourself for others you will need help. From a factory, I mean... We're supposed to set up factories to make things, darn it. Craft things. Okay, yes, let's not engage them. Where did the station go? There it is. 
Silicon carbide mill. No, that's not the station I want. I think. Ides Sentinel. Argon. Hmm. Mm, let me. Call. I'm not talking to you. No, that guy's not talking to me. Oh, I think they're engaging the Xenon Defense over there. Defense drone. M. Maybe we can sneakily help. Hey, let them go after that one. I'll M. go after this one. I should be able to take on an N at least, right? Oh, I wanted all my guns though. Oh, shoot. Oh, clutch. Okay, I need my guns, please. Forgot I saved without that active. Okay, some hull damage, but not too bad. Docking granted. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even ask for docking. Oh, I think that's already done. All right, let's dock, I guess. All right, pad two. Do I have to shift the disc? Docking aborted. No. Docking granted. Okay. All right, there we go. Successfully docked. All right. Let's see. Illegal black market trader, anyone? Magidust. Space fuel, space weed. If our own intel is correct, you will likely find the dealer in the bar. Oh, I have to get out. Okay, well, it's always the bar, isn't it? Travel team. Hello. Hello there. Well, green. It's a bar. Uh, Black Marketeer. Yamashita Shigeto. Can I help? Uh, show me your Here wares. You AGI processor. Can I have one? Sure. That's cheap for an AGI processor, really. Decryption module. Well, they didn't ask for that. Security decryption systems. Hmm, yes. Okay, Good goodbye. Good luck out there. Okay. I think I'll I'll stop here and save it because we have a tense situation. I'm now carrying a black market module that I have to deliver. We don't know what these these people are all about that we're trying to infiltrate. And we will discover that in the next episode. Ukraine. So, as I take command of my ship with my module, I'm going to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.